So we will continue and uh, click the run button here. So I select the run. So I'm waiting to finish the simulation. Okay, so uh, so you see in the result part a different name like fields, mode properties. So these two results are important for us. So for let's let's focus on the first side on the fields. And before we start and look at the fields, uh, let's look at our go back to our PowerPoint. So in our PowerPoint, as you see, uh, for the single mode waveguide, uh, just we showed that we have just one mode, EX, because this is the EX and this is HX. Mode three is a TM, mode three is a TE and mode four is T. But uh, just, we showed that this mode is propagating through the waveguide. So we want to see these results in the numerical uh, theme. So let's look at the modes. So just you need to right click on fields and uh, then select visualize. A new visualize. So as you see here, a different uh, name, you can see different name like EHS, E is electric field, H magnetic field, and S pointing vector. So let's, uh, and this is a, in this parameter, you has a mode number and you can change the mode number by, by clicking on this arrow. So for instance, this is a first mode, second mode, third, fourth, and that's it, so on. So, uh, for the first mode, I will show the EX. For the EX, I need to check the magnitude as X. So this is a EX. Uh, for the second mode, we need to look at the HX. So this is a HX. So for the third mode, we need to look at the EX. So this is the third mode, and this is the fourth mode. So as you see here, just we have one mode, which is propagate through the waveguide and uh, like one T mode. Uh, so the, the second mode is propagating, but it's TM. And uh, so if you look at the, the second mode, you see it's TM. And uh, so, yeah, you can, check and compare with the numerical uh, mode again by this slide. I can see that almost the same. So in the next step, we want to see the mode properties like, like effective index. So if I right click on the, on the mode properties and then select the visualize and then new visualize. So you see here, uh, for the, the the x the 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 horizontal part you can see the mode number and the vertical part this is a effective index so let's remove some of the plots like effective area i remove this one just i will keep an effective so this is an effective so this is an effective and if you look, if you look at the like the mode number, so the first mode is uh, the refractive index is around two point five. The second mode is around one point eight. The third mode is around one point five. The fourth mode is around one point four. So as you see here, the one point four is less than the refractive index of clot. So this is unguided mode. So as you see here, for, for the mode properties, 
let's look at this slide. So if the effective index is less than clad index, so we have unguided mode. And uh, for the for the first mode is guided mode because it's around and effective is around. So it's bigger than clad index and it's around uh, like uh, in this region is is less than any core, but but it's tightly confined through the core. So, uh, but uh, if you look at the the mode number, like for number three, it's it's around one point five. So it means that uh, in this region we have a weakly confined or, or or do not confine through the waveguide. So for this reason, we say that um, just we have a single mode fiber. So a single mode waiver, sorry about that. So this is the effective index versus mode number. And uh, so in the next step, uh, we can show the, the effective index versus lambda. But for numerical theme to do this, you need to do write some little bit of scripting language. So if I, uh, like I, I wrote the uh, the code before, but you can also uh, it, it's very simple. So I'll paste here. Okay, just uh, before we run this simulation, let's look at the numerical FTE. Okay, in the numerical FTE. If you remember, for the for the frequency analysis, we select the start wavelengths as one point five five, a stop wavelengths of one point six, and then we click the frequency sweep, and then we select the effective index, and we plot the effective index as as a wavelength. So it's very easy, but for the theme to to extract this curve you need to write a simple code. So just the first one. You can also use optimization. Uh, I mean, uh, you can use also sweep property, but 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 here I, I use a code. So this is a lambda 1.55, and the lambda is 10 nanometer for each step. And uh, this is the final lambda is 1.6. I create a vector for, for lambda here, like for instance, the first, item is 1.55, the second 1.65, 1.75, and that's it, and so on. So and also I will create a matrix for effective index, but the length of matrix is create is uh, uh, actually determined by the by the size of lambda. So and then I wrote a switch to layout. What does it mean? It means that for instance in this case, in this window we have in analysis mode, if we want to change any uh, properties of the material geometry, we need to uh, go back to the layout mode. So this is a layout mode. So when I write the switch to layout mode, it means that I click that uh, bottom. So from the uh, analysis mode to the, to the layout mode. And uh, so, uh, so because I just, I want to focus just uh, first mode. So like, what does it mean this line? So it means that select the theme, go to the number of trial mode, number of trial mode, you can see here, and then put it one. So this is the meaning of this line, and then apply, okay. So. Uh, for the number of uh, um, wavelengths, do the do the simulation. Select, put the lambda to the theme. So if I go to the uh, theme and mode analysis and the lambda, I mean it's one point five five. So for instance, in, for the next step of the running is one point six five. By so this line, put the the second lambda like to the to the wavelengths and then run. And after run, you can get the result 
like like from mode property that I showed you in my uh, previous video. So then extract the uh, effective index and again to switch load and do the simulation and then uh, save the data and save lambda to the wavelength and plot the uh, uh, wavelengths and effective. So let's do the simulation. It's very easy. <clears throat> and uh, so, for each wavelength, the simulation is repeated. And uh, so the effective index is also extracted. I do not pause the, the video because I want to give you an estimation of how long does it take to to the simulation is finished finish it. So and uh, yes. So this is effective index versus lambda. So if we want to compare this result with the numerical uh, FTE, if you remember, this is the output of numerical FTE, okay? So this is the output of numerical phi. So as you see here, for instance, for 1.55 is around like 2.5, 2.43, like this. Also, this is also, 2.43. I mean, uh, uh, so it's the same results that you can see in both solvers, but but the mechanism of the of the simulation and get the result completely different. The numerical FT FT is based on the uh, finite difference method, but the numerical theme is based on the finite element method. So the mesh. Uh, to creating a mesh. So if you have any curve structure or uh, like complicated structure, so maybe if you use a numerical film, it's a better choice. 